That game was pretty much in the bag after halftime. And so uh, Cowboys made it 21-10, but 49ers came right back and scored, and it was 28-10, and it was ball game. Uh, let's talk a little bit about George, uh, Brock Purdy. Let's listen to some Brock Purdy talking about this offense that uh, clicked, and let's talk about this for a sec. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever felt, you know, like feeling this good just with the offense and everything as a whole. I can't really think of a time. There's there's some good games, you know, he played back-to-back-to-back games in college. But, you know, right now, yeah, it feels like everyone's just on a mission, man. Like the mindset is right where it needs to. Everyone's so detailed in what they do. Play calls are great. So it's like all I got to do is go out there, do my job, and, and that's it, and just play ball. So obviously we feel good where we're at, but there's still areas we can still get better at. So. What do you think, what area can they get better at, 49er fans? Because that, that, to me, sounds like something you're just saying right now. 888-957-9570. Where can they get better? Well, he's staying humble, Stoney, because you know, he don't want to say, you know, <laughs> we're, we're perfect. But, man. I'm just wondering, what can they do better right now? I mean, I don't think Purdy can play much better. Individually, guys, I don't, like, they're... How can you play better? They're not getting penalized. They're not turning the ball over. Keep going. They're scoring 30-plus points a game. Big Their plays. defense is one of the best in, in football. They're one of the best tackling teams. They turn other teams over. Like, seriously, what, what can they get better at? I mean, okay, sure, you can always get better. But realistically, realistically, how can they get better? I'm with you, and that's why they're undefeated. And you want to talk about... Uh, 10.8 yards per uh, pass in the air. We talked about him dink and dunk. That that was a myth. But he hit Kittle for 38 yards last night on his long pass. Brandon Ayuk had one for 23. Debo had one for 42, Stiney. McCaffrey and uh, Jennings each had one for 19. So those are wops to me. Okay? And I'm just like, I don't know what he's going to say, but he's being Kendrick Lamar. He's being humble by saying, you know, because you never want to say our stuff don't stink. 888-957-9570 is the number. Is there anything the Niners can can do better? Telmo says they can play better. I mean, I I guess. I guess they can. But can they play better consistently like they have in the next uh, the previous five games? What's up, Telmo? How you doing? Good, Sonny. How you doing today? Doing well. Uh, Guru, I appreciate you for for knowing uh, the realness of the situation and what was coming down the road. And you were uh, you were never a homer or front runner about all day, it, even though people gave you heck. But you uh, you you were a professional, and you knew that they were going to be outmatched. Um, in terms of you know he he is being humble, and that's a good attitude to have because to be humble means you're willing to put in the work and even in a performance like that, be the areas where you can still improve. And I think unless a team defensively gives up zero points and scores um, seven points on every single possession they have the ball, they can always be better. Um, but I think from the standpoint of yesterday's game, Christian McCaffrey had uh, one of his lowest rushing outputs, um, I think maybe ever in, in a long time since since he's been a Niner. Um, and that could be an area of improvement. Uh, Brock said made some throws that I'm sure he'd love to have back. Um, they had a fumble. Um, they gave up that big pass over the top on defense. So, yeah, I mean, they were dominant. And, and, I, and I think as good as the Niners looked, I think they, uh, Dallas looked, you know, poorly. And I don't know if one was a result of the other or if it was just a combination of both. But I think if you're a team that has uh, Super Bowl ambitions and you're looking to be the one listing the trophy at the end of the year, you always have to be willing to be humble Get, like Guru says, get back in the lab and work on the little things that are going to make you a better team. There you go. Good call. Appreciate the call. Uh, Veggie Delight on the U, uh, First NorCal Credit Union YouTube chat says maybe they could get to the quarterback. They're getting better and they're getting closer, but Stani, maybe they could get closer to the quarterback. Now, I thought Bosa had a sack, but it was a half a stack. Him That's and it? Ar- yeah, half. Oh. But they sacked Dak three times. So he he Four still times, he doesn't have two sacks in his last eight games. He only has one and a half. One point five. They got to Dak three times. How many points are they giving up a game? Do you have those numbers in front? No. Nope. Ten against the. I guess I could just look yeah. at the standings. Seventeen to the Rams. I guess what I'm saying is, 
I mean, I know they can. There's plays here and there, but they're def. So they're giving up. See, this is where this is where they're taking something away, like that. And I'm talking about the other team. Okay, the 49ers sack wise, they haven't been as dominant sack wise, but they're only giving up 13 and a half points a game. Man, so like with all, who cares? Like who cares? Maybe th- what's happening is teams are getting rid of the ball so quick. They're not allowing the 49ers to get sacks because mm. you can prevent a team from getting sacks if you want, if you want to throw quickly. I think that's what the Giants did a lot. And the 49ers linebackers still keep everybody in front. No so, doubt. It, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're not getting sacks, if you're not giving up a lot of throws downfield. See, I like that you said that because I kind of didn't know, and we had talked about it, if we were actually seeing just a little regression from the D-line, Stiney, it was still good enough because this offense is just on steroids. But when you cite those numbers, and I watched the game last night, that nah, this defense is still stout, man. Uh, 5-1-0, on a nitpick Monday, I'd say they can get better in containing mobile quarterbacks. That's always been a Big issue for the Niners' defense since Shanahan has arrived. Yeah, and I always well, th- Dak I- had one carry for two yards. Well, I always say uh, looked slow as molasses too. Yeah, he didn't look that great. Yeah. I don't think. Um, I mean, to the mobile quarterback thing, I-, I always feel like well, mobile quarterbacks give a lot of teams trouble. That's why everybody wants one uh, mobile quarterback, or at least a guy who can make plays with his feet, but. 888-957-9570 is the number. The 49ers, uh, they win 42-10. It was a game that never really was close. It was 14 nothing. Cowboys score to make it 14-7. You figure, okay, right there, if they can get a hold, maybe we got a game. They not only didn't get a hold, they gave up a touchdown. Next thing you know, it's 21-7 at half. Night-night. Uh, Night-night. And the Cowboys... Um, got beat. Three interceptions for Dak Prescott. None for none for uh, Brock Purdy. Who's more mobile of a quarterback, Dak or Brock Purdy? At this stage, I'm going to say Brock Purdy. Man. I mean, Dak, I'm, I don't know what happened. I know he had that injury a couple years back, but there were times last night like run, and he's just, I don't know what it is, man. He Something's going on upstairs, man. Here's more Brock Purdy on uh, having a balanced offense and trying to spread it around. Yeah, he was doing a good job of just calling plays where I could just, you know, take a quick drop, get the ball out, get into a rhythm. And, um, you know, so obviously I, for me, I'm always like, yeah, I'm willing to throw every down. But, um, you know, just in terms of having a balanced offense, run the ball, it's what we have to do. And so, yeah, I felt good early on. I actually felt like, you know, I missed a couple throws just with B.A., um, some opportunity balls um, early on that I wish I had back. But outside of that, got into a rhythm and we were able to roll. So, yeah. So, just man, yeah. And Isaiah Oliver, we haven't even missed him, mentioned him, Stani, a cornerback. He was on CD Lamb, made a couple good plays. And I'm just like, it just keeps going, man. It's just who Isaiah Oliver, big game Sunday night. CD Lamb, the top ten receiver in my estimation, Stani. And I don't know if it was their offense, Dak, but he was he was a nuisance to CD Lamb and that uh, Cowboy receiving core. Just a just a ass whooping. That's what that was last night. Again, I saw it coming, but that even surpassed what I thought. And never go full. Jeff had something great on the YouTube chat. He felt like, and I talked about it, that playoff game where Dan Quinn actually got the dub, Steiny, holding the Niner offense and McCaffrey to 19 points, even though Dallas didn't win the game. I felt like on the way home, Kyle probably drove home like, man, you know, he threw some monkey wrenches in what I wanted to do. That that wasn't the uh, production I wanted. And he just was saying he felt like Kyle was kind of making it a point to go after Quinn and that unit last night. Now, I know there was no digs, but boy, did they. And Stiney opened receivers all night long. It felt like that. I mean, there were there were guys wide open. and Number one defense, my ass. That's what the Niner players felt like offensively were saying. And Purdy was putting the ball right in the uh... – <sighs> What we used to call the bread basket, ladies Again. and gentlemen. Again.